Today on Newsbreak, we'll take a look at coronation from last night, and we'll look at Dance of the Week, a day early. All of us and more on this Thursday, September 21st, 2017. Good afternoon, SLHS. I'm Jacob Honslet. And I'm Courtney Delbrand. Let's take a look at today's top stories. Tomorrow is Spirit Day, where red and black is a sign of your support for the Indians. During the home volleyball match tonight, there will be a color theme for each grade. Seniors wear black, juniors wear white, sophomores wear red, and freshmen wear gray. The Jostens rep will be here at Spirit, at Spirit Lake on Friday, October 13th during common time to measure seniors for their caps and gowns. They will also have ordering packets. There is an FFA meeting today during count time in Miss Navio's room. Everyone is welcome to join in on the meeting to see what FFA is all about and to see some of the plans they have for this year. If you plan to join FFA or are a past member and have not yet paid your dues, please plan to bring $15 for dues. The state of Iowa has accepted an invitation to participate in the U.S. Senate Youth Program. The program is designed to give young Americans a working knowledge of American political life. Two Iowa students have the opportunity to spend a week in Washington, D.C. and receive a $5,000 scholarship. Students must complete the application process and submit the materials by October 2nd. Happy birthday today to Caitlin Andrus, tomorrow to Will Davis, Lexi Boone, Aiden Early, and Preston Gigsad, and on Monday to Darren Snyder, Harley Lambert, and to Jocelyn Van Rees. Now let's take a look at the weather with Hope Johnson. Thanks guys, taking a look at weather for today, will be sun and clouds and there's high of 86, so it is pretty warm outside. We will see winds 10 to 20 miles per hour though. Moving on into Friday, homecoming, we'll see some AM clouds, but it'll be bright, bright and sunny in the afternoon. And as for kickoff, it'll be about 80 degrees and 11 mile per hour winds. We do have a high of 90, so the parade will be very hot and windy, about 30 mile per hour winds. Moving on into Saturday, we'll be cloudy in the morning and we do have a 40% chance for, th for some thunderstorms in the afternoon, high of 85, low of 66, but for now, back to you guys. Now let's take a look at Dance of the Week one day early. Scared of my own image, scared of my own immaturity, scared of my own ceiling, scared I'll die of uncertainty, fear might be the death of me, fear leads to anxiety, don't know what's inside of me, don't forget about me, don't forget about me, even when I doubt you. Temperatures dropping, temperatures dropping. I'm not sure if I can see this ever stopping. Shaking hands with the dark parts of my thoughts. No, you are all that I've got. No, don't forget us. So for the volleyball game tonight, it is a little different this year where the grades are still wearing colors, but this year it won't be counted towards homecoming points per grade. It will just be for the theme. So we'd still like people to participate with the colors. And the Newsbreak staff is going to be covering a lot of the events. We're even going to go up to the Sammy and try to get aerial footage of the parade. Mm -hmm. That'll be really cool for Monday's show. Yep. And then for kickoff, 7 p.m., you're gonna see winds around 11 miles per hour. It'll still be pretty warm at 80 degrees. It'll be really breezy and very hot for the parade. It's gonna feel like an oven. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Have a good rest of the homecoming week, SLHS. <laughs>